Hi guys, in previous video we have seen several stages of testing. They are unit testing, integration testing, functional testing, regression testing, performance testing and smooth testing. Now, so we are going to concentrate on unit testing. This is developer responsibility. A develop, being a developer, we should write the code as well as we need to test our code also. That is part of unit testing. What is unit testing? Unit testing is a level of software testing where individual units or components of a application is going to get tested. The main objective of unit testing is to split code into multiple pieces and test each piece of code separately to ensure that it is working as expected. That means as part of a storyboard development, we are going to create multiple methods like a controller method, service layer method and DAO layer method. So instead of testing all the methods at a time, first test the method of the DAO, whether the DAO method is giving the results as expected or not. Then test the service layer method to make sure it is also working as expected. Then test the controller layer method to make sure it is also working as expected. We have divided total storyboard code into several chunks and we are going to test the each chunk separately independently. That is called unit testing. Unit testing is a process of testing unit piece of work independently. Now, so, so when we are developing a code, when we are developing a code for one storyboard, there are so many methods as part of that. Why we need to test each method separately? Why we need to perform unit testing? What are the advantages of this unit testing? Now, unit testing is used to identify defects early in software development life cycle. So when we combine all the methods and when we test, we may not understand where the application is failing. So for that reason, first a developer should perform unit testing on piece of code to identify defects early in software application. Now, this unit testing will help us to read our own code. Whatever the lines of code we are writing, so if we perform unit testing of that code, we will get the chance again to read our own code. So a developer starts spending more time in reading than writing. Now, defects in the design of code affect the development system. A successful code breeds the confidence of a developer. <laughs> Whenever we implement some piece of code directly, we will should not give that code to testers because we are not going to show whether the code is going to work as expected or not. So for that purpose, whatever the code we have written, if we do unit testing of that code, then confidently we can give that code to testers saying that my code unit tested. It, is, it worked as expected in my system. You can also check this code like that with confidence developer can provide the code to testers. Now if we perform proper unit testing of our code in the development lifecycle itself it is going to save both time and money at the end of the application. Right? So in high level unit testing is a process of testing unit piece of work which is done by developer. Why we need to do this unit testing? Several advantages are there. We can identify defects at the earliest stage only and we can read our own code again and again so that we can, if there is any problem, we can resolve that problem immediately. And if you perform this unit testing, confidently we can provide bug free code to the testing environment and this will save our development time and it will save development cost also. Let's take a scenario, when I write a piece of code, directly I gave that code to the tester. So I am not sure whether the code is going to work as expected or not in the testing environment. Confidently I cannot say that my code is going to work because we did not do the testing of that code. So that's why whenever you complete development some piece of code, first test that piece of code that is called unit testing. Let's take a scenario. Now, as part of your defect, we have we have changed something in one of the existing method. When I do some change, I added one extra condition here or I remove the existing condition in this method. When I do the changes, can I directly give this code to the testers? 
we should not because we don't know whatever the condition we have implemented here is it working as expected or not so first i need to check the method i have changed here so this method is calling by some other method but first i need to check this piece of code because i have done some changes in this condition i need to check this code to make sure this code is working as expected the process of testing this piece of code is called unit testing once this unit testing is completed then we are going to perform end to end testing that is integration testing so from the front end to back end we are going to check whether the functionality is working or not but before going to perform that first we need to test the piece of code where we have modified the process of this testing is called unit testing